celebrating women, embracing, empowering change. Hello friends, today we celebrate International Women's Day. My wishes to all the women in the world. Their presence in all the spheres of life is felt very much by everyone. In every aspect, women tend to leave their footprints. Their resilience and determination have broken the barriers and inspired generations. Just to name a few, we have seen Kalpana Chawla, Sunita Williams reaching for stars, Mary Com for the punch of excellence, Kiran Mazumda Shah's innovation for a better world, Arunima Sinha conquering the Everest, Sudhamuthi's philanthropist ideas and impact on children's education. P.V. Sindhu smashing stereotypes, Chanda Kocha breaking banking barriers, Vandana Shiva championing environmental sustainability, Deepa Karmakar vaulting to new heights, and so many more. I would like to read a small portion of letter of Pope John Paul II to women. Thank you, women who are mothers. You remain as guide to your child's first steps. You helped it to grow and you remain as the anchor along the journey of its life. Thank you women who are wives. You irrevocably join your future to that of your husbands in a relationship of mutual giving at the service of love and life. Thank you women who are daughters and women who are sisters into the heart of a family and then all the society. You bring the richness of your sensitivity your intuitiveness, your generosity and fidelity. Thank you women who work. You make an indispensable contribution to the growth of a culture which unites reason and feeling. Thank you consecrated women. Following the example of the greatest of women, the mother of Jesus Christ, the incarnate word, you open yourselves with obedience and fidelity to the gift of God's love. Thank you, every woman, for the simple fact of being a woman. Through the insight, which is so much a part of your womanhood, you enrich the world's understanding and help to make human relations more honest and authentic. Yes, this day serves as a reminder that when women thrive, societies flourish, and it's a call to action for a more inclusive world. I would like to conclude with a quote by Oprah Winfrey, Every time you state what you want or believe, you are the first to hear it. It's a message to both you and others about what you think is possible. Don't put a ceiling on yourself. Happy Women's Day. May God bless you.